Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the two stage RC amplifier by using LT Spice, right? So you can see here we have two stage RC amplifier and this is first stage RC amplifier and this is the second stage RC amplifier so i will explain the circuit flow of two stage rc amplifier and then i will i will run simulation in lt spice and i will show you the input signal waveforms the output signal waveforms right so today we will understand about the about the transient analysis of Two stage RC amplifier, right? Two stage RC amplifier. So let us understand now. So I hope until now, if you are watching my video, you you are able to draw the schematic in LT Spice. So I don't teach how to draw the schematic in LT Spice. You can find similar video how to draw the schematic in lt spice right so here i have already drawn the schematic for you to save the time so this is two stage rc amplifier you can see this is input signal right this is input signal v1 so if you right click it at v1 so you can find this is the setting for v1 is DC offset voltage is 0 volt, amplitude is 10 milli volt, and the frequency input signal frequency is 1k. Right? So this is the, your input source. This is V1. Then we have yeah, coupling capacitor C2, which is the value of 1 microfarad. And then you can see this is the transistor Q1 VC847. Okay and the value of collector resistance r1 is 1.2k and the value of emitter resistance r2 is 1k and here we have a bypass capacitor that is c5 with the value of 1 microfarad right so so this is the connection for q1 and you can see we here we have voltage divider biasing for this transistor q1 so you can see the value of r3 is 21k and the value of r4 is 4.7k right so here you can understand the value of r3 is 21k and the value of r4 is 4.7k so now at this point the output of first stage rc amplifier bjt rc amplifier is this and here we have also connected a coupling capacitor c3 with the value of 1 microfarad right and now the output of c3 goes to goes to the input of q2 right input of the q2 that means the output of c3 goes to the base of q2 right and again this is the replica of first is amplifier rc amplifier okay this this is this is the second stage and this is the exact replica of first is rc amplifier so here you can see you have q2 again again r5 is same value that is r1 r6 is, is same value that is r2 and c1 equals to c5 and r7 equals to r3 r8 equals to r4 and here you can see you are having c4 that is again coupling capacitor and then you have v out right so here you have v in then first stage amplifier then second stage amplifier then here you have v out and r9 is a load to drive this circuitry you have 12 volt power supply that is v3 right so hope you understand the flow of two stage rc amplifier 
now i will run the transient analysis and i will show you the signals right to run the transient analysis you have to go at simulate right and edit simulation command okay and here you can see you have transient the first option is transient so you can take the stop time is 100 millisecond right the stop time is 100 millisecond so you can take the stop time here 100 millisecond click it ok this is ok and here your transient command appears right now i will run the simulation so you can right click at schematic window and you can run this button or directly you can run from here this is also a run button right so now this is your circuit window and this is your simulation window so i will divide this simulation window in two parts one for input and one for output right so let me show you the input signal okay so this is your input signal as you can see here this is one kilohertz frequency and peak to peak value is 10 millivolt peak to peak value is sorry peak to peak value is 20 millivolt and the peak value is 10 millivolt for positive side and the peak value for negative side is 10 millivolt right so this is the input signal you can see and now i will click at the second window here so i have already clicked now i will show you this is your v in now i will show you here v out right so you can see this is v out now so the amplitude for this v out signal if you place your cursor here right here you can see the amplitude for this signal is 400 millivolt for positive side and if you place here you can see the 400 millivolt for negative side so you 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 have seen now your input signal is 10 millivolt peak right 10 millivolt peak and you are getting your output signal uh, is 400 millivolt peak right so this is input signal and this is a output signal the output signal is amplified by with some amplification factor okay with some amplification factor so you can see here this is your input signal and this is your output signal right so so hope you understand the simulation of two stage rc amplifier right what is input signal what is output signal how do how do you draw the schematic and how do you run this transient analysis so i will i will upload this file in the google drive and i will share the description i will share the link of this file in the description field so you can go and download this file and you can do your own practice for two stage rc amplifier you can play with the values of R3, R4, R2, input signal or any other component and you can see the effect of uh, effect at output. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in comment section.